Welcome to Mike Fitzgerald's Baseball Highlights 2045. Hello there, Board Game Inspector Bob Boxfat here. Today, on Board Game Theatre, we are exploring a pastime that is an integral part of American history. Baseball has long been known as America's pastime, and rightly so, for its birth and life are irrevocably intertwined with America's own. However, imagine a time in the future when baseball has faded from its glory to a shell of what it once was. In this time, people aren't nearly as interested in watching baseball anymore. It is decided that in order to save the sport, it must evolve. Players decide to replace limbs with cybernetic versions that will increase their abilities. Robots that hit harder and quicker are created to keep up with the new cyborg pitches. Because of these improvements, baseball experiences a resurgence as crowds flood to watch these new stars. However, Many players who are unaugmented or naturals, a select few are good enough and work hard enough to keep their position as star players. They are now the minority and the life of a natural in baseball is full of uncertainty. Hi everybody, this is Mel Rizzuto and holy cow, I'm so excited because we are here to comment on this amazing Baseball Highlights 2045 World Series we're about to witness. How about that? Yeah, how about that indeed? Vin Buck joining you guys. And it is going to be the New York, New York Yorkers going up against the Boston Bullheads in a much anticipated series. We're calling this one Old School versus New School. That's right. We got the Wonder Kid from Australia. Do you believe this? An Australian manager taking care of the New York Yorkers, Johnny Connor, against the Boston Bullheads, the Old School. And that's Mr. Catfish. Yeah. And a lot of folks have said this could be Catfish's last run, that he might be losing his touch. We'll see if that proves to be the case. Yes, we will. Today's game is called Baseball Highlights 2045 by Eagle Griffin Games. It places the players in control of a baseball team in a futuristic setting. They must compete against each other using their teams of robots, cyborgs and naturals to win the 2045 World Series. The World Series is played over best of seven games. During each game, players will draw a hand of six cards and take turns playing them back and forth and resolving their abilities. The cards will score hits as well as providing offensive and defensive abilities. When a hit is scored, a runner matching the speed of the played card is placed on base corresponding to the type of hit. For example, a double would place a runner on second base as well as advance all other players on base and additional two bases. After all six cards are played, whoever has scored the most hits is the winner. Then you add up the income of the cards you have played that game and draft new players into your team as well as remove a number of old players. Then you draw six more cards and play the next game. Will the coaches call upon cyborgs and robots or trust in the skill of the naturals? Maybe they will do both. Find out now on Board Game Theatre. Hello, Johnny Connor here, leader of the New York Yorkers. We're playing in this year's World Series. We play to win the game. We're gonna win. It's just an old guy. <laughs> they call me Catfish, Hunter as I hunt catfish. Now I'm gonna show these young guys how this ball game is played. Old school. Back in my day, when I threw a ball, I threw a ball. <laughs> I'll take this guy. Daisy Duke Darvish. He's a cyborg. Yeah, he's a cyborg. Curve. Cancel all hits. This is a robot. Well, we're bringing in a magnet glove. Mookie Rivers. He costs 10. He's two for recruiting. Magnet glove. Single, double, fast. 
Well, I'm gonna take old Barry Souza. Surprise, surprise. Gotta love Barry Souza. Look at that guy. He got him some handlebars. That's what he's got right there. Is a handlebar. It's some mustaches. This uh, look when it's good to have a mustache. Alright. <laughs> Two peas in the pod. You your Max Verlander. Ooh, cyborg. He's expensive. I like a cyborg though. So we're taking a look at what happened in these three buy rounds before the World Series actually starts. And the game started off with a draft by the New York Yorkers manager, Johnny Connor. And he took Daiseke Darvish, the curveball pitcher. He strikes out all robots. He will take the hit, hits away from any robot. He costs $7 million. I think it's a, it's a very solid first buy. He was out there on the, on the buy round. I think he's off to a great start with Darvish on his team. Now, on the other hand, Catfish may be showing a, a bit of an unusual tactic. You see, Daisuke Darvish specializes against robots, and he went right with Turtlebot, a robot right off the bat. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking there. We'll see how it plays out. Uh, you got to trust Catfish's experience. This might end up paying off. Well, we'll see. I do expect that we're going to see these guys coming up in the game. We'll see what happens. The next draft for uh, Johnny Connor from Australia, Sonic Bat. Now, Sonic Bat's a really good quick eye who can really hurt these cyborgs that these teams draft. And I'm thinking that actually Catfish on Boston probably needs this quick eye a little more than Johnny does. So I wonder if that's in his thinking. You know, let me take take a player that would be better on the other team, and he's probably going to get some cyborgs or has some in his starting team. So, you know, this might be a good way to, to go for him. I think it was a very smart draft. Hard to get in his head. Now, now Catfish comes back a little bit with, a, with power, pure power with Barry Sosa. The masher just going pure home runs, going to try and knock him out of the park. We'll see if it ends up paying off. I think it's a good draft, too, because Barry Sosa's natural, as you say, and right now Johnny hasn't gotten any fastball pitchers yet, so maybe he's realized, you know, we're going to, we're going to need some power from our naturals. So then Johnny from Australia takes Craig Belt. This guy's an all-important player because he is clutch. And when it comes to important short series like this, we know how much these clutch, the clutch players can really make the difference. These guys are fantastic. We'll see if he can get in the position to take advantage of that and take advantage of that early and often. We'll find out. Meanwhile, Catfish comes with Troy Jeter, the wily veteran move there, because Troy really brings everything to the table. You want defense? He's got it. You want buying power? He's got it. You want a little offense in there? He's got it. Troy what a Jeter. complete player. Yeah, one of the best players in the game, Troy Jeter. Well, the Boston Bullhead's going to take the Yalkas down. All right. You can try. I'm going to get me a little bit of chew before I get into this thing, though. Prepare yourself for some serious ball playing. That's disgusting. Yeah, it's the way we do it old school. Sure. Well, I'm the visitor. That's right. So I'm going to be playing my on-deck card right there and grab me another card. All right. Well, I'm going to go right into it. And I'm going to be threatening two solo singles with my robot. All right. Well, I'm going to bring in Darvish. And he's going to cancel all hits versus a robot with his koi ball. Hmm. And he threatens a single and a double. Single, single? Single. What are you talking about? You know, when you get to first base, a single. A single. Singile. All right, well, you're going to do the singile. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of foiling of that because I'm going to play a knuckleball. And I'm going to reduce all of those singiles into nothingness. You're out. You're, you're out. Yeah, it's time. A quick eye. If versus a cyborg, mm. I get a triple. Triple will score me an early lead. And then I go and I threaten a single oil. Another single oil. Well, I don't like what I'm seeing. So Troy Jeter's coming out. And he's going to cancel that hit. 
and he's coming in with two average singles. All right. All right. We're going to show you some schooling. Well, it appears I'm doing the schooling because I got a cyborg who's going to throw a fastball and cancel all your hits versus a natural. Cancel all my naturals. That's right. Dead gum. The human has been neutralized. All right. And I threaten the single oil. Yeah, I think I'll save it, and I'm gonna go double. Gonna threaten a slow double. All right. Scored another run. Two. I like how this is going. I'll let you get your double. I'll threaten two slow singles. Take the double. I'll cancel one of them and threaten a slow triple. For my All veteran. Right. That's fine. Cause I'll threaten two more slow singles. Well, I'll take that triple. Yes, fine. Score one. And then I'll threaten a home run. Alright. It's not good. Alright. But it's early in the World Series. I just got a threat and a double. Well, I'll play my visitor save there. But that's going to that's going to be a cancel that hit. You get your home run, tie up the game. So you get three. You got bases loaded and you don't look good. So it's a tie. We're gonna have to draw three cards. Alright. Extra innings. Extra innings. Oh Lord, this is gonna be an interesting play. That's right. I got it right there. All right. Play ball. Gonna glove and cancel your hit. So you canceled my threatened single. And I don't threaten anything. So nothing happened. Thinking pretty hard there, young one. Yeah. Got to. I'm threatening a fast double. Uh, and I threaten a single, which is for me my one run. Yeah, oh. you're going to beat me and you're going to get four, I kind of thought so. So you're going to win game one of the World Series. It's off to a good start. Holy cow, how about that? That was an exciting first game going to extra innings. The final score, four to three in favor of New York. I think... You know, our Boston manager, Catfish, might have been parting a little too much last night with a few things in that game. I think he could have won this game, possibly, with, with some different moves. But the thing I was going to mention, remember we were talking about the draft. So what's the first play yep. of the game is Turtlebot with the two singles and a good leadoff robot. And guess what? Johnny comes right back with Darvish and strikes him out. So they <laughs> had the first two drafts right there, which is, you know, maybe gets under Catfish's craw a little bit and can work on you in a, in a series like this. you got to give Catfish a little credit for scraping and clawing his way back into this one. I mean, he looked dead in the water. He makes it to extra innings, but you can't, you can't go into extra innings when the other guy's got the bases loaded. You're just not going to come out on top in a lot of those situations. And Johnny Connor showed his strategy was sound from the beginning and takes game one. Has to go to extra innings, but he gets the job done. All right, I guess it's time for us to draft. Yes, right. Oh. Those extra innings gave me a little bit of money. I've got some money coming here, too, I think. A little extra. We're going to do some recruiting. That's right. Not quite what I was hoping, but... Yeah, we'll get this I've got 14, it looks like. i got 8, 11, 14. Well, i got 10. 10, well... I think get... I'll go first. You're going to go first? And I've got to say, I love me some Magna Gloves. Oh, no. You got yeah. a Magna Glove. I wish I'd have had one of them when I played. Mookie Rivers. Mookie. Send someone down. Mine leagues. So we're going to reveal one more card. C.C. Clemens coming into the game. She's Cyborg 7-2 recruitment. She's fastball cancels against the Naturals and threatens triples. She's pretty dang good. Now, I, I'm, I, there's a couple good cards out there. That's there's, true. That Willie McGuire card is pretty dang good. 
I like him with that, that five tool. He's pretty nice. And I got 14 to spend, so I could try to be efficient. Wow, that's a tough one right there. Well, you could buy the cyborg. Yeah, well, there's there's some good cards, but that Max Verlander, he gets me kind of excited. Yeah, he's a cyborg, man. If I could make my whole team cyborgs, I'd do it in a heartbeat. They're amazing. Their cyborgs are the future. Well, that's what they said about Cyberdyne, too. What's Cyberdyne? You'll find out. All right. Let's see who's next. Oh, Lou Leather Magna Glove. Another Magna Glove? Lou Leather. Threatening the single. Well, I got to get rid of one here. You do. Before we get on to that next game. So we're into the buy round now after game one, where New York starts off. Uh, Johnny Connors gets Mookie Rivers. Now, Mookie Rivers is a magna glove. This guy can stop two hits. He's a superstar. I'm thinking, though, that Australian Johnny Connor, he's managing the New York team. And he's thinking, you know, maybe I want to get a little nostalgia for these fans because Mookie Rivers is named after some of these, you know, two of these great 20th century baseball players. Uh, Mookie Wilson and Mickey Rivers, and they both played in New York. You had a Yankee and you had a Met in those days. So I think a really strong move, not just for the team, but for the fans, too. Well, Mel, you know that the fans will absolutely go nuts for that. Meanwhile, you see Catfish come back with Max Verlander. Max Verlander setting himself up to maybe prevent some robot hits. I don't know if we've seen a whole lot of building towards that from Johnny Connor. Uh, we'll see if that ends up paying off, but it seems like he's he's uh, uh, trying to get a solution in search of a problem here. Yeah, he started. He's he's sort of tipping it off that you know now I'm going to be gunning for your robots, and I think from the looks of it, it is early, but I think Australian manager Johnny Connor for the New York team is thinking cyborgs, and you know Max is not going to do much against the cyborgs, but he is a star certainly, and he's a very expensive player and. You know, maybe Catfish at this point says, I'll take the best player and see what happens. And he certainly might have been the best player available. We'll see how game two goes. Mike Fitzgerald's Baseball Highlights 2045. So this is Mel Rizzuto. <laughs> Don't do that part again. No, that's not <laughs> oh, I think that's the, that's the part. <laughs> oh, just the... Nine. <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to say to that? <laughs> I want your cyborgs. <laughs> I'll be back. Chewing is bad for you, okay? <laughs> 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 so, my only question is, do you guys want to do one? <laughs> no. 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 No, we're fine. No, we're fine. <laughs> it was fine. <laughs>